Hello, hello, hello to everybody. Here is Dr. Wild again talking about different topics and science. Remember, guys, that we create and design this podcast to let everybody know about Harvard University and the magazine of Harvard Medical School. You can also visit our official website, which is magazine.hme.harvard.edu. You will be able to browse thousands of thousands of articles by issue or by topic. You will be asking Dr. Wild which topics do we have? Research, community, education, care delivery the hours and achievement. The title of the article to review today is a Space Science. Flexible design gives scientists the option needed for collaboration and discovery. The scientists and architects who deep without one of the century old structures from in Harvard Medical School quote, to one size to wooden lockers in a nearby corner, a winding staircase and in front of the roof a wall. To then, however, it was not just a wall, it was a camp that's one of which they could execute a bold new idea. From Cambridge, Massachusetts at Harvard University Medical School, I want to remind to everybody who's listened to Dr. Wild that we do mostly days this beautiful reviews. To fleet United States architect Louis Sullivan famous phrase when it comes to designing a space for discovery, for no longer simple follow function, it defines it. For the past decade, laboratories on the quote and throughout academia and biotech have been reclaiming the space that have been retired solitary scientists to bench and equipment. Now, laboratories are flexible, capable of accommodating and commingling the scientists' pursuit of both individual researchers and research teams. Designing forest collaboration often incorporating concepts that accommodate the partners of movement that bring people together and help propel ideas. The goal set scientists and architects is to have laboratory spaces play an active part in shaping what is possible. idea are not new. Jonas saw a renewed effort developing the polio vaccine, saw a value of architectural design in as a means for increasing collaboration and scientist creativity. In the 1960s, he selected no architecture lawyer scan to give his vision shape. The results dissolved Institute for Biological Studies in La Lola, California, featured large open laboratory spaces that are easily adapted to switch on in scientists' needs. Sol worked closely with Kahn, urging him to create a facility in which scientists' cross-pollination could flourish, yet not one that was also worthy of a visit by Picasso. A wolf century later, the National Institute of Health pledged collaborative science to the biomedical agenda with its 2003 roadmap calling attention to the importance of foresting a culture of teamwork in research. Referring this intellectual construct, the scientists and architects gather in a front of the blank wall on the quote contemplate how best they deep the contemporary culture of scientists' collaboration. Their interpretation gave rise at wise glass front speech leading to the new laboratory of system pharmacology. It would the decided reflect this mission and their message. You are entering a new place. We invite you to see how we are different. We want people who are going to participate in the culture, say Laura Malisquix, executive director of the Harper Program in the Therapeutic Science, the academic home of the laboratory of system pharmacology not be the one wolf of traditional research. Participants is the only way you can actually do interdisciplinary research. Mali Whiskey is not alone in her thinking on this. 
Adult in a way, the neurobiology laboratory of Zabatin is open while like a railroad, with people circling through an air space bordered with workstations, room dedicated to studying behavior in animals stand apart, while sophisticated equipment is housed centrally or installed with cabinets situated on East Transit as experiments take scientists from one station to another. This cushion space cluster is closely proximity to Sabatini's office, a welcoming while its space is well construed, a particularly frost glass mean to define the physical space but not to block the visual file of researchers who are working of simple passing through. A whiteboard displayed remains of a past year World Cup ranking silent testimony to the international makeup and interest of Sabatini research team. This is the third laboratory that Sabatini, the Harvard Medical School, Alice and Roman Morphe, a professor of neurobiology, has designed at Harvard. He hopes it builds to be this last. The key for me was flexibility, he says. The reason we had to move was simple that we had changed our science had evolved. Sabatini previous laboratories were fragmented, split over two floors with instrumentation crucial to finally delete neuroimaging techniques that he has pioneered, ultra-sensitive microscopes and the 1,500-pound 4 by 12 foot air tables that cushioned by during use dominating the space. Using these instruments, Sabatini and his colleagues may break through to have add to or knowledge of the development and regulation of synapses of the brain of how they affect behavior and disorders such as autism, Parkinson's disease and Alzheimer's disease. No content to work with the limitation of available tools, Sabatini team designed new tools for use in their research. Over time, the scientists expanded the use of animal models and are using highly specialist techniques that are sensitive to light, sound, and smell to investigate the scenario role that behavior and anatomy have a neurological function. The world has always required collaboration and the sharing of space and instrumentation. Given the direction that discovery in his laboratory were taking Sabatini knew as these requirements would only grow, researchers would need to work in a serial space and not just a desk bench combination and would need to move the world through a range of experiments to achieve breakthrough. The new laboratory reflects those needs. Would need think about modern the laboratory as having many and many workstations that people move through, say Sabatini, where the old designing was much more one person sitting on one instrument essentially all day. accommodate discovery proof itself when the paint was barely dry on the new laboratory's walls. A space originally designed for refrigerators was reconfigured to hold delicate electrophysiology rigs and fluorescence microscopes. Susanna Selter, senior laboratory architect at Boston, Massachusetts, Fred Miller, Dreer Spears, and a member of the team that designed the new space, appreciated the reconfiguration when her first visit to Sabatini's lab it was heaven, Selter says. Sabatini had been very clear he wanted open space and he wanted it to be flexible. The changes I saw mean the design had satisfied those requirements. Maron Miller, a principal of MDS, says flexibility is not just a contemporary need. Any environment has to evolve. A year from now, for five years from now, scientists will have a different way of using it.
and you were member of the faculty Dragana Roculia, the Harvard Medical School assistant professor of neurobiology studies sleep, why we need it and how we move from waking and sleeping and back again. Her experimental model is fruit fly of her lab members spend the working hours in what they refer as the fly room because her team spends so much time there. Rohula asked to architects to include windows of their design of the room. Like Sabatini, she recognized that the comfortable environment helps make a long hours demanded by high caliber research more tolerable and more conductive to discovery. The rest of her laboratory is fitted with the light wood case work and dark countertops common in never lab space. Carriers have from the sailing ready to supply power and gases, a configuration of resort that is also common in new research spaces. Rulia has developed and displays flexibility and flexibility by having the benches space that allows the island that ease the movements of members of her research team. Creating more open space in a laboratory environment breaks down a barrier and encourages collaboration, say Robert Quigley, a principal of ARC Architectural Resource Cambridge, the field that designed Rehulia Laboratory. The laboratory lost about two and a half linear feet in bench space, but she knew the trade-off was important. You give up some space at near Rehulia, but it's good for people to be more integrated. Designing flexible laboratory space found its first proponent to biotech industry, according to Quigley, this company brought modular design into their workplace more than two decades ago. The concept gained a greater foot all in academia, he says, and higher funding made greater efficiency and more attractive. Alright guys, remember you can download these beautiful reviews from our official website at Harvard Magazine University and the title is Space for Science, remember. This article has been published by Elizabeth Cooney, she's a science writer in the Harvard Medical School Office of Communication and external relations. Have a beautiful day, everybody. See you next time. Bye-bye.